Hello everyone, I'm Lionel Game and this is the Indominus Rex. And this is the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. They are going to compete against each other to see who can defeat these waves of 8 dinosaurs the fastest. We have 20 Velociraptors, 15 Deinonychuses, 10 Cryolophosauruses, 8 Carnotauruses, 6 Allosauruses, 3 Carcharodontosauruses, 1 Enemy Spinosaurus, and lastly, 1 T Rex. Without further ado, let's begin. And four dinosaurs are off. Spinosaurus taken the first lead, but Indominus Rex isn't really far behind, and Spinosaurus just threw himself down the ramp. That's very unfortunate, but he's getting back up and has lost no and falling down, so that's pretty good. Mm, a little bit the teeth, but lost. But anyway, onto the first wave of 20 Velociraptors. Also, forgive the lag, there are a lot of units on the screen, but that will go away rather soon. Probably as soon as the first wave is defeated from both dinosaurs, and that Velociraptor is just thrown as high as the walls of this place. That's checking on the Indominus Rex, and he is absolutely shredding these guys to shreds. The Raptors are going back, trying to get a jump on the Indominus Rex, but are basically sticking themselves on the ramp. That's not good, but we're number one half. We're complete. Let's check back in on the Spinus Rex, and he is. He is also almost done with wave number one. I believe the Spino might be slightly ahead. But of course, this is just wave number one, so this can change very fast. Okay, and I believe this is the last Velociraptor, and that'll be wave number one complete for the Spinosaurus. Now let's check in on the Indominus Rex, and he has a fair few Raptors to defeat actually, before moving on to wave number two, which is the Deinonychuses. So back to the Spinosaurus, let's get rid of the helper. And here he is absolutely shredding these guys to pieces. And very smartly staying out of range of the attack of the Dynamicus because only when he goes close to them do they actually attack like this guy here. Trying to grab this guy from his back, falls off, grabs the by the head and swings it and kills it. And shreds those two guys as well to absolute smithereens and now they're only four. Dynamicus is left. Let's check back in on the Indominus Rex. And he has one Velociraptor left, and then he will want to wave number two. The Dynamicus is well, Spinosaurus has quite the lead on him. Yup, that's wave number two complete for the Spinosaurus, and he has basically full health. Now he has the first group of medium carnivores, the Cryolophosaurus, and there are ten of them. And he's already killed two. So doing quite well. Basically, I wanted to kill for these guys. Checking back in on the Dynamus Rex. He has now begun attacking wave number two. The Dynamus and is actually being very speedy. That was two kills in one hit. Tail whip. Doing pretty good. Though still significantly behind the Spinus Rex, who is about to finish wave number 3, he just completed it on the wave number 4, the Carnotauruses. Grabs that one by the head and, well that was a one hit kill. Grabs the second one by the neck, kills it. There are now 6 left, back on the Indominus Rex, let's see how he's doing and taking his time with the Nonicuses. And our Indominus Rex finally finished the wave number 2, the Dynamicuses, and lost about one third of his health on wave number 3 now, and let's check in on our Spinosaurus, who has completed wave number 4, and onto the Allosauruses, and already killed two of them. And now these are the big guys, they're significantly taller than the Spinosaurus, and they, they do, well, noticeable damage, because... You can't see his health bar is significantly lower than when we left off. But anyway, there are now two more Allosauruses, so I don't think there'll be a problem for the Spino to get rid of these guys, even the big ones. Ah, I grab that one by the arm and shreds it to pieces. Not the one to kill anymore, like with those guys. Until wave number five, the Kakara don't Here's the first one, actually smaller than the Spinosaurus, 
But that guy is definitely not. Yep, that was a one hit kill onto the big Kakara Dontosaurus now. And grabs it by the neck, but he also grabs his Spinosaurus, so they're both doing a very high damage to each other. But Spine is gonna win this round. The Kakara did do about took it under half health, so that's very significant. He may actually die somewhere down there. And that in turn can make the Indominus Rex bypass him. But he is still on wave number three, the Krylophosaurus is, with slightly over half health and is being very slow to finish these guys off. So back on our Spinous Rex, who's about to take on the rival of Spinous Rex, and now you can really see the height difference. I mean, twice as tall, probably five, six times as heavy. And does insane damage as well. Our Spino lands the first hit. The opposing Spino also lands a hit to the back of us. And is actually causing very severe bleed damage. We really didn't do much to him though. So that's not looking too good for the outcome. He's using his body right now to throw us on the ground. We are more powerful. As you can see by how much damage we just did. But he does have that huge size advantage and he can throw us around as he feels to we are now under a quarter of our health but we should make the kill and we do finally killing the opposing spinosaurus onto the t-rex now and if we kill him without dying we will declare this spinosaurus the victor quickly checking on the dumbness rex he finally finished wave number three onto wave number four the carnotauruses And let's see how is he going to do. We do land the first hit. We avoid getting bitten by the T-Rex by uh, biting his jaw, but he can open his mouth wider than we can because well he's just that much bigger. So he lands bitten us, we're now down. And weirdly enough, he kills us. So theoretically the Nanus Rex can win if he manages to defeat the opposing T-Rex on this side. And believe it or not, the Indominus Rex actually died on wave number 4, the Contouruses. So that will be it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.